So over the years, I have played my fair share of video games. Look, I was, I was one of those kids who had a dad who, look, it's kind of uncommon these days to actually have a dad. I probably should have just stopped there, but had a dad who knew a guy who was able to get me like a chip for my Nintendo DS that had like 50 games on it, 50 of the most random games you'll ever see from like Bakugan Battle Brawlers to like Monsters in the Attic or Aliens in the Attic video game, whatever it was called. I don't even know. Look, it's not even legal for me to admit I had a chip. I, I don't know. Look, I was like five years old anyway, so government suck my balls. But where I'm getting at here is I have played a lot of video games over my years and there have been a couple of absolute doozies, don't get me wrong. Look, Hogwarts Legacy had a lot of mixed reviews, but I honestly sat there for the most part, kind of touching myself inappropriately, hoping Hermione Granger was going to appear, and it just ended up being like eight hours of tutorials on how to ride a broom, how to play with a magic wand, and what other stuff that sounds like it's from a, a gay porno, right? There have been a ton of games that I've played that are absolute dookie is what I'm what I'm trying to get at here. But there is none worse that I have played that if I could take my time back, I would get a complete refund than AFL 23. Now I know this probably ruins any future sponsorships I have with the company, whether it's them getting me to play the game early or whatever it might be. I don't care. AFL 23 is by far the worst video game I have ever played. Looking at a dude here who's played well over 100 games, probably more. I've literally even played like Wally on the Wii or whatever. I have played the games and nothing can even fathom to the point of how bad AFL 23 is. And I feel like a lot of people have just forgotten how bad this game is, whether or not because they haven't played it, because they want to forget about it, or because they just don't remember this game exists at all. But there are a ton of reasons why this is the worst game that I've ever played. First of all, we're going to go back to opening day all the way to the first two weeks. And yes, this happened for the first two weeks of launch. AFL 23 was the most glitched and bug infested game you will ever see. There was literally more bugs infested into this game than a bed from a hotel that's been around since the 1600s. It's fucked. Again, in the first couple of weeks of the game being released, you guys might remember a ton of crazy things happen. There were players who were reporting the bench of each team was just randomly spawned onto the middle of the ground. Some players were able to run through it. Some players were saying they were only able to run around it. AFL coaches were being spawned in as goal umpires. There is a very famous picture of Adam Simpson, the West Coast Eagles coach, just deciding to, for some reason, stop coaching and deciding to become a goal umpire, right? If you thought a couple of those bugs were bad, Let's talk about how the game was completely broken from the start. The first couple of days to some people, the first two weeks, the game was literally unplayable to the point where you would be running around as your player and the NPCs from the opposing team would literally just not tackle you. You would have to go right and next to them, stand there without their consent for them to actually tackle you. There were even some instances where you would be running and the opposing player would actually either run away from you or run completely past you. This was like a game that was in the first couple of weeks in development being released as a full AAA game for a hundred Australian dollars, right? And the players wouldn't even tackle you. There was so many issues with this game having a ton of glitches, a ton of bugs that I just haven't even mentioned in this video, but the main part of course it just being absolutely broken. Other issues in this game including the sim was still completely broken in this. For example, if you were to sim 
from, of course, the 2023 AFL season, you would have teams like North Melbourne and West Coast finishing first and third in some years, when in reality, these two teams are some of the worst teams we've ever seen in AFL history, containing some of the worst lists. And we, of course, know North Melbourne have finished bottom two in the last four years. But no, in AFL 23, they could literally finish first on like the first season of gameplay with the list that they've currently got right now. Again, some of the worst teams in the league were out here just finishing first, second, and third in the first year, in the 2023 version of, of course, whatever they decide to call it now, the, the I don't know, coach mode, whatever it might be, right? Not only is AFL 23 still glitched and buggy pretty much to this day, with some things just flat out not being able to be fixed, you guys still got to remember that around 60% of this game still has not been released. And you might be thinking, well, what are you talking about that, right? Most AFL games released over the years have a coach mode, a play now mode, a player editor, all of the above. But one of the things that stuck out to most people about AFL games in the past was they had like somewhat of a my career where you could customize your own character, play through the ranks of VFL and make your way up to the AFL, right? Now, AFL 23 did not have that. Instead, they announced that they would be getting rid of that mode and giving us a mode that we had been waiting for ever since AFL games were being released. And that was their take on NBA 2K's My Team and FIFA's Ultimate Team. Essentially, it would be you collecting a bunch of cards of these players who had overalls and you would be building up your own team, playing against other players across Australia slash the world and trying to create the best my team. This was of course called AFL 23 Pro Team. Now what's most interesting about this game mode is it was actually advertised pretty much from the start as being AFL 23's main game mode. It was where you would be spending most of your time, where most of your time battling players online would be spent. Uh, and, and of course it would be spent, you would be spending your time on this rather than spending your time on the single player career mode the most AFL games have had previously. The kick out of this is, when you bought the game, this was never actually there. Yes, the main game mode, the main fucking game mode that was in the main trailer, AFL 23 Pro Team, was not in the game. This led a lot of people to be like, what? the hell how can like the main game mode that you spent all of your time in the game mode that's supposed to be like 50 to 60 percent of the whole entire game how can it not be in right well the excuse was they ran into a couple of issues when the game was coming out not only with their glitches and bugs that they were of course happening but with the afl 23 game mode so people just decided to say look you've got a lot on your plate right now i don't know how i've just spent a hundred bucks on a game where the main component of it is not in there, but I'll give you a couple of weeks, right? If I check my John Cena watch, get it, because it's not there, you, you can't see it. It is currently the 5th of October. The game's been out half a year, and the main game mode that was in the number one main trailer that they said would essentially be what we would all be playing instead of the what we used to all play which was the 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 my career type game mode is still not in the fucking game i am literally not lying right now when i say afl 23 pro team my team ultimate team whatever you want to call it to this day is still not in afl 23 so you would be wondering, well, what is there to do in AFL 23? Absolutely nothing that the last game didn't already do. You essentially just spent a hundred bucks on an updated roster of AFL Evolution 2 without the single player focused my career that AFL Evolution 2 had it. There is less in AFL 23 than a game that was released four years, three years before it, right? You've paid a hundred bucks for a game that is smaller 
worse, that has way more bugs and glitches just to get an updated roster of half the players who look nothing like the players that they do in real life. If anything, AFL Evolution 2 did a better job at the face scans than what AFL 23 is. I can't describe how big of a train wreck AFL 23 is, and it is by far the worst game I've ever played. And that's all I could say in 10 minutes and 30 seconds at the time of this, right? There is so much more that is wrong with this game that I could make about an hour-long video about how this is the worst game in the world. But I thought I'd give you guys my key points and then get to the big contributing factor that is pro team not being in the game. Of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Is AFO 23 personally the worst game you have probably ever played? If you didn't get it from launch, your opinions might be a little bit different. Definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions. I, to this day, have not really even gone near it for, since like the first month. It is not worth it. I have even seen more bad things on Twitter. I've only gone near it a couple times. Yeah. Wish I could get my 100 bucks back. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.